Hi, and welcome back to my channel. Uh, this video is in response to a question from one of my uh, subscribers on how to create a standalone executable in Visual Fox Pro 9. Okay, so to create a standalone executable, uh, it's quite simple. What you need is a project. So I'll demonstrate two ways to do this. The first way is just uh, in using code. So we'll create a simple application, and I'm going to put this under my development folder. So let's set default to DFP, Malikama, and Malikam. Let's call this demo app one. Okay, what I'll have this application do? Nothing uh, spectacular. We'll just display a message box. The point is just to show you how to create a an executable. Okay, demo app. So we'll uh, We'll change the caption to demo app v1. And then I'll just show a message box saying uh, hello from demo app. Okay, and then I'll make that an OK box. And then I'll put the caption as a caption of the. So once the box is closed, Visual Fox Pro will automatically close. I don't need to put a quit in here. So we'll save this. And so you can see, let me just go to C drive, dev, BFP. I just have a PRG file there. So to create an executable, you need to build a project. So I can build a project, build project, and I'll give it the same name as my application. So I'll call it, okay. I'll call it demo app. And then I'll say from, and I need to give it a program file. Uh, you can see there from a form or a menu. So some file for it to compile into a project. So we'll specify demo app one here. You can say PRG, but it's, it's not necessary. So now I do have a project file here. So VFP has created a project for me. The other way to create a project just simply to type create project and give it a name, and I'll, I'll go through that in a second. Okay, so the next step is just to build your project into an executable. So I'll build XE, and then I'll give it a name, which will be demo app, will be demo app 2, whatever name I want to type, but I'll make it the same name as the, as the project. And then I'll say from, and you can see IntelliSense telling me what I need to provide, which is a project name. And the project name is the same um, as the final executable demo app. So uh, let's enter there and Visual Fox Pro compiles. And now I have an executable application here. So I'll use my uh, other application here, Farm Manager, and you can see that I have an executable. If I double click on this, the application runs. You see the window logo and the message box that I coded. And when I click OK, the application closes. Okay, let's go on to the other way, creating a project. So I'll create a project using the same code base, but I'll call this demo app 2, which is a typical way I do it if you've watched my other videos. So I'll create a project first, then I go over to the code tab, and on the program, I'll just simply add, and yes, multiple projects can point to the same code base, so I'll open demo app one here. And you can see it's bolded because that's the main application. That's where Visual Fox Pro will start. And then I go to the build menu and then I choose one of these. I can build, well, we're talking about executable. So we would select uh, Win32 executable. And um, you can tell, you can specify options here to recompile, display errors, and so forth. So I click OK, and now it asks me what's the name of the application. And of course, it defaults to the project name, and I hit Save. So now I have two applications based on the same code base 
uh, just done two different ways. So if you're comfortable typing code, for a simple application, I do this. Other times, for a larger application, I'll create a project, and I'll have classes and forms and databases and tree tables. So I do the second method in most cases. OK, so there's one thing I want to point out here. So I can double click on the application, and it runs OK. Now it runs because I have Visual Fox Pro installed on this machine. So in other words, the Visual Fox Pro runtimes are already um, available for the application to work. I'm going to copy, let's copy one of these applications. So I have another computer that's available that I don't have Visual Fox Pro installed on. And I'm just going to copy the application over there and try to run it. So if you have an application that you're distributing to your customer, you need to make sure that the runtime is there. So I copy this executable. And I will go to I'll put this in the temp folder just for simplicity's sake. And you can see the application there. The Fox for icon is still there, but if, if I double click and I'll maximize this window. So now I'm on my other uh, virtual machine. I double click and I get this. Uh, Microsoft Visual Fox Pro error stating cannot locate the Microsoft Visual Support libraries. Now, these used to be available from Microsoft. I understand that they're no longer available. So, um, but you can still get your hands on them. So, what we need to do is install the Visual Fox Pro runtime on this computer, which would simulate your client's computer uh, that doesn't have the runtime so that your application, your executable, can run. So I've taken the liberty of locating the runtime online. I'll put the link down in the description of this video for you. So I'm running Visual Fox Pro 9. I may have Service Pack 2 here. I'm not sure. But in any case, I'm just going to go with the, yeah, I am running SP2. I will just go with um, Visual Fox Pro runtime. Actually, let me try Service Pack 2 runtime. Um, not sure why there are two versions here. OK, Service Pack 1, Service Pack. OK, so I think these two are the same, and this is actually one, and this is two. OK, let's try, well, let's copy over, because I don't need it on this computer. This computer already has Visual Fox to install. So I'll go to my, quote, client's machine, and so this would be any any computer that you wish to run um, Visual Fox Pro. So I'll click the runtime and wait for it to tell me to. Okay, that one does not work. Okay, so let's just go with the runtime, and I'll click on that one, and let's hope that I get. Okay, so I get a pop-up window here, and I'll simply hit run. So I can magnify this desktop so we can see what's happening. And I click OK. We can see Visual Fox Pro 9 runtime. Of course, I'll go with English. Uh, I'll uncheck German because I don't speak German. And I would probably include the multi-threaded libraries as well. And it will create the, uh, well, it will store the files under the Microsoft Shared VFD folder. So I click Install. And now I should be able to run this application, and you should see it as it did over on the dev machine. So now with the runtime installed, your application works as expected. Okay, so that's it. Thank you for tuning in.